Get off the bus, you freaky new recruits, and join in on the inspection in theaters beginning November 23rd. A homeless gay young adult named Ellis, Jeremy Pope, in an Oscar-worthy performance, decides to join the Marine Corps as a last hope for his life. After begging his mother, Gabrielle Union, for his birth certificate, Ellis ends up at boot camp on Paris Island in South Carolina. He initially meets the physical requirements, but is not as successful in disguising his sexual orientation, making him the target of a near-lethal hazing from drone instructor Leland Laws, Bokeem Woodbine, and his fellow enlistees. It takes gumption and a bit of sympathy from instructor Rosales, Raul Castillo, for Ellis to survive. This is an autobiographical film from writer-director Elikins Bratton, and in that authenticity from the boot camp to his relationship with his mother, it is all truth. Bratton has stated that not only did the Marines save him, but the U.S. military, in its equality post-World War II and its diversity, is one of the most progressive places in the country. And in the era of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, the reluctant acceptance of alternate sexual orientation is brilliantly emphasized on both ends of the spectrum. This is a film that not only takes the audience inside boot camp, but inside tolerance. In many ways, it is the America we should be, and uses one of America's top fighting military force as the truth and hope that can lead us. This is a must-see for redemption and empathy. The Inspection, 5 out of 5 in theaters beginning November 23rd. And look for my interview with Elikins Bratton on HollywoodChicago.com. From the halls of